Well, we got quite a bit of snow. Pretty cool though, how this all worked out. I know, I know it's a little more than I had forecasted, but the way this all worked is that we got that nice little convergence zone right over the top of us. Instead of being down across the Palouse, it was centered right over us and that gave us quite a bit of snow. But even as the snow winds down, ice and snow continue to cover the roads and with cold temperatures tomorrow morning, it's likely a slick start to the day despite a little bit of sunshine. Here are the officials, Leavenworth, a whopping five inches of snow, Wenatchee 2.8, Spokane, 2.7. That's our official number. Parts of town got a little more. Parts of town got a little less, but 2.7 is the official. Grand Coulee 1.9, Ritzville 1.3, Wilbur just one inch. I know there are no Idaho totals on there. I haven't seen any yet, so if you have them, send them in. Love to share them back with everybody watching. Our winter weather advisories remain in place through 10 p.m. tonight. The winter weather advisory is for the snow on the ground at this point. As temperatures drop, it is going to be exceptionally slick. We're already down below freezing, but falling into teens is going to refreeze all of the stuff that was melted by the salt and the treatment on those roads. A couple of light showers continue to come down. Hayden, you're in the middle of a heavier one as we speak. You got some photos? Send those in. That'd be incredibly cool to see. Here in Spokane, it looks like a couple of light showers are about all we get through this evening, and then we start to clear out. Remember, clear skies. Calm wind, it's going to be much calmer wind than what we saw, and the snow on the ground. I was like, there's a third, what is it? The snow on the ground means our temperatures are going to plummet tonight. Next few days, those temperatures wind up quite cool, especially in the morning. Afternoon highs climb into the 30s, so when are we going to get rid of some of this snow? Let's talk about that later. I think our magic point for getting rid of the snow kind of comes late Saturday. It's not going to be out of your yards. It's not going to be out of the side of your driveway by then. In fact, I don't think we do that until toward the end of next week. But all the stuff kind of on the roads, the arterials, that's going to melt a lot faster, especially with the sun once we get some breaks in it.